This is Zaccagnini Vidicchio from Marche in Italy. That's right, though thought to have originated in Veneto in the north, the grape here, Vidicchio, had very much found its spiritual home in Marche, a more central Italian region where it is easily their most planted variety. Very much a critic's choice, in the wine world, Vidicchio is widely considered Italy's best white wine, with many showing potential for such strange activities as putting it away for ageing. I mean, why would you want to do that? I know, right? Madness. Young Vidicchio, however, is fantastic, with refreshing acidity, green, herby-type flavours, but its signature is an almond flavour, which in some cases can be a touch bitter, but also creates a richness in the wine. Okay, uh, and this is what's called a DOC wine, which I've heard you say in the past can be a signifier of quality, right? Absolutely. Now, unlike France, where the AOC accredited wines make a huge part of what's famous about the country, Bordeaux, Burgundy, Côte de Rhone, etc., the DOC accreditation that Italy gives to its wine is far less relied upon. Sure, like in France, it means that these certified regions follow a set of rules and regs to create a consistent quality of wine, but a lo much lower percentage of the country actually buy into the bureaucracy of it. In Marche, just 20% of its wine production is DOC. In places like Sicily and Puglia, it's less than 5%. I mean, I guess you can kind of think of it like the difference between a French and Italian chef. The French chef is all about the precision and following the recipe uh, to a T, uh, with absolutely no tolerance for straying from that recipe. I mean, in Italy, they just do it the way their nonna did. Nobody's going to tell them otherwise or hold them to any kind of rules. That is exactly it. Just say it again. That is exactly it. Italy is not the country for strict winemaking, but they're extremely tasty and world leading all the same. You can, however, use DOCs as a guide for quality. It's usually written on the neck of the bottle. Great stuff. Uh, what are we pairing this one with? Uh, this is a coastline region. So wine is famously paired with a local fish stew. Now I can't remember the last time I had fish stew, but fish pie, I'm in. And I'll join. Cheers. Cheers.